First of all, it's Patrick Corbin, four and one career against Miami. The Marlins are going for win number 2,000 in club history tonight. And he has him reaching, unable to reach it. 0-2, look like a swing. Chris Siegel confirms Ron Culpa's call at home plate. Two down. Swing and a miss. Busting him inside with the fastball. Hey, what's up with this Corbin heater so far? Two strikeouts on the heater, just one on the slider in the first. Eliezer Hernandez taking on the Nationals tonight. Two balls and two strikes from Eliezer Hernandez and a swing and a miss. So a good first inning for Hernandez. One, two, three. And he battles back to strike him out. Corbin's fastball with some sinking action. His strikeout pitch so far. That's number four. Two down now, and it'll be up to Miguel Rojas. And on 2 0, he hits a high fly ball that goes deep to left field. Soto turns around and welcome back, Miguel Rojas. Three run home run, and the Marlins are on the board. Yeah, you've been gone too long, and boy, did we miss you. But here he swings and misses and that's the second strikeout for Eliezer Hernandez. So two out nobody on and Jan Gomes the batter Gomes a five game hitting streak. And Gomes will launch one high in the air deep right center. Brinson back. See you later. And the Nats have two homers from their catchers as Gomes gets his first like Kurt Suzuki did earlier. Career mark there, number 100 of his big league career. Here there goes the shutout, and now he dance all in one swing. You have hitters that are a little bit more cautious because of the slider. Ella called strike three. Thames didn't like it. Is an umpire with one of the quicker triggers in baseball. Adam Eaton, long run. He's going to get there, and that was a fair ball when he caught it. Well done, two outs. When in doubt, slide just in case that little point's coming at you. Nice play by Adam Eaton on the blue pop up down the right field line. Trey Turner, ground ball to short first time. And that ball is touched. Loud sound, deep right center. See you later. And that's not a bad start to the second time around the order. 3 2 ball game. Well, they're talking down there. Just got to be so careful. Well, that fastball was up. It beats Eaton, but the Nats get one back. It's been 9 1 8, so keep it Ooh. close and you feel like you got a chance. Well, he takes care of Brinson, who walked first time. What's working and what's not, and utilizing what's going best. And then he'll slide that one away. That might be his best slider yet. Hey, hey. Astro out for the year. And Garcia out for this at bat. Five strikeouts for Hernandez. Tapper left side. Keyboom on the move. Little trouble with the exchange, but he still had time to throw out the big fella, Aguilar. Two down. He had the time for the double clutch with Aguilar running. And Keyboom throws him out for the second out here at the top of the fifth inning. Nasty slider. That's how you end an inning with a pitch like that. Corbin through five has settled in. May have gotten away with one right there. He'll take it. Six strikeouts. Great slider by Corbin, not giving in on a 3 2 fastball. Strikeout number eight, his 30th of the year. Two balls, two strikes. It's going to ring him up with a high fastball. Strikeout number nine. Eaton, Soto, and Cabrera coming up against Stephen Tarpley. And a called strike three goes to the breaking ball. Got just enough of the zone to freeze Adam Eaton. Tarpley's 2 2 pitch, and he gets some swinging back to back strikeouts since coming into the game. Two away in the sixth. One and two. And gets some swing and gets away from Cervelli. That's going to do it, I guess. No need to complete the strikeout. One on, one out, and a one run game. And that one is ripped fair down toward the corner. Rojas is heading toward third. He will get held up right there. 
on a double by Jonathan VR. So second and third one out. Jesus Aguilar has never faced Tanner Rainey. He makes his 11th appearance. We'll see another payoff pitch. And the Marlins will have the bases loaded. Swing and a miss on 97 for out number two. Huge strikeout. Into left. Soto is there right at him. Who's better in setup and hold them than Tanner Rainey right now? James Hoyt into the game. Here it is. Swing and a miss. Hoyt comes in, gets the job done, strands a couple, and protects the Marlins' one run lead as we go to the eighth. Two and two. Ground ball. And the guy who provides the offense ends the night. It's a Marlins win. Miguel Rojas makes the play. He hit the three run home run early in the game on the first pitch he saw off the IL. And that was all the Marlins needed in this one.